Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Follow up video. You guys asked for it on the high volume study. So I made the first one uh, that was by Roddy Ali a few months ago, where they did up to 45 sets per week and saw phenomenal gains. The second one was done earlier this week, which was on the 32 sets per week study. And by the way, these are all trained men. And finally, uh, you guys requested the one on uh, by Brad Schoenfeld, which is this one right here. Uh, so again, high volume study, nine sets versus 27 versus up to 45 sets per week. This is per week, not per workout. Um, and I say up to because uh, triceps was the body part that actually had the most volume. So let's see what happens. You know, based on the graph here, I'm going to let you guys guess which group put on the most gains. Keep in mind, these are strength trained men. And this study by, was done by Brad, which is, if you watch my videos, you know, I always say this. He's the best, the greatest of all time when it comes to these hypertrophy studies. Um, and the bodybuilder of the day, last time was Arnold, proponent of high volume. Bodybuilder of the day is going to be Serge Brad. And yes, I know, we all know these guys with steroids. But again, these studies on natural train uh, trainees and uh, high volume works just as well on, on, on that. On that is. In fact, if you're natty, you have to do... Uh, just as much volume. But anyway, going off a tangent here. Uh, let's go. So this was the study by Rade Ali. If you guys missed the video, link should be in the description. And you can clearly see the group that did 45 sets per week blew uh, everyone else out of the water. Uh, this was in the previous video, which was the 32 set study. Um, and again, you can see the group that did 32 sets. Uh, pretty much outclassed everyone. And now let's look at the current study, right? So you have, again, it's about Brad, 2019. So it's very recent. I don't want to hear anything about study design. Um, Brad knows this shit. Uh, 34 trained men, 8 weeks, which is the standard duration, 3 times a week. Uh, was the amount of times they train each muscle. And again, every time I, uh, I talk about high volume, guys, remember, I'm, I'm referring to weekly volume. You're not going to do all that shit in fucking one day, right? I'm referring to high volume spread out throughout the day, a high frequency approach, nucleus overload style. But anyway, reps 8 to 12, to momentary failure. Um, and obviously, sets was one, three, or five per exercise, which led up to up to nine, twenty-seven, and forty-five uh, per, uh, per week. And it was basic exercises: bench press, leg press, lat pull down, leg extension, military press, cable roll, squat. And look at the results, guys. Once again, this is the third study, and there are many more. Guys. I could just keep pumping them out. There are many more studies on trained men showing this. Um, high volume is the key. Again, high weekly volume. Right? If you're trying to do all that shit in one workout. On one day, you're actually going to have worse gains, which is what the the German volume training value uh, study actually showed. Um, as long as you split it up throughout the week, three to five sessions, you're good to go. But look at the results that speak for themselves. Um, and so here are some of the objections I get a lot from whenever I talk about high volume, right? And this thing is proven, right? It's proof the fuck, man. I'm tired of having to debate stuff that's already been shown to work in the literature and in the broad science world. You guys know the studies, I mean, this channel is all about combining broad science and science. So when the two agree, I don't want to fucking hear it, guys. But anyway, first objection is, they were not going to failure. Guys, number one, two things. Number one, nobody goes to fucking failure. I don't want to hear it, right? Anyone who tells you they're trying to fail is fucking lying. True failure means a gun is put to your head and you can't move the muscle. Nobody fucking trains like that. So that's one. Two, you don't have to go to balls deep fucking, you know, uh, I, I, I can't feel my fucking eye twitching failure to see gains. Studies have shown this several times, right? You could stop a few reps shot of failure, right? So that's one. Number two, people say, oh, well, you, if you do high volume, you're not going to have your shit. Watch my video on stronger is not bigger. I, I, I explained that already. You don't have to lift three to four fucking rep max to make gains. Uh, next one, progressive overload. Guys volume is an aspect of progressive overload by increasing volume you are progressively overloading everyone fucking thinks that progressive overload simply means more weight that's completely fucking false and it's been debunked again watch my video on stronger is not bigger another thing i hear is oh it's too much volume it's too much volume again watch my videos on nucleus overload explaining five minutes ballerina and the calves do you really fucking think they're worrying about volume when they're doing a little dance rehearsal shit. M meanwhile, look at the calf development. They do a lot of fucking volume on their calves, and it was just speak for themselves. Same is true for boxers and their shoulders, gymnasts and their arms, cyclists and their fucking quads, bodybuilders and their front delts. We actually do fuck ton of volume on our front delts, and it's the most developed body part for most bodybuilders. Um, 
guards and their glutes. I don't know if you ever saw these guards with the nice squat booties. You know how much volume these guards do per week on their, on their, on their glutes? Like, they go to the gym and every day is booty day, All right? Uh, swimmers in the last, on and so forth. So, conclusion, volume, 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 guys. It's all about volume. Once you're lifting enough weight to actually feel the muscle working, right? I'm not telling you to fucking start curling five pounds and say, hey, I'm just going to do high volume and I'm going to grow. No, obviously, you want to use some common sense, right? You want to pick a weight that's challenging. But once that weight is challenging enough, which is about 40 to 60% of your one rep max minimum, 40% if you're doing blood flow restriction, sometimes even 20% of your one rep max. And obviously, if you're not doing BFR, at least 60 to 75% of your one rep max. As long as you, you, you're picking a weight in that in that range, you're going to see progress with volume, right? And number two, find your upper limit. Like I said, everyone is different. Depending on your ability to recover, you might need more, you might need less volume, right? And obviously, uh, last, like I always say, manage recovery, right? What What is your nutrition like? Are your macros on point? Are your micros on point? Are you sleeping well? You know, what are your stress levels like? On You know, on and so forth. So that's it, guys. Long as those things are taken care of, you shouldn't have to worry about volume. As a natty lifter, high weekly volume is the key to growing. All right, guys, that's it. Like the video, subscribe to my shit, hit the bell, email me from coaching. I'm out.